We've talked about the different places you can find information, including databases, the library catalog, and the Internet. How do you decide if the information that you found is appropriate for your research topic? First, we will evaluate the books and journal articles that you find in the library's catalog and databases. Even though the library purchases materials that are usually appropriate for academic research, they may not be the best items to use for your research. The following five criteria will help you to determine if a book or journal article is appropriate for your research paper. What type of coverage does the book or article have? Make certain it addresses your research topic. Each book or article should provide a variety of information. Consider whether you need primary or secondary research. Primary research is original information gathered through research studies, interviews, and investigations. Secondary research is analyses or collections of information gathered from primary research. Who is the intended audience? Is the book or article aimed at a specific group or population? Make sure that the information is not too basic, too advanced, or too technical for your project. Is the article from a peer-reviewed journal or a popular magazine? Is the author an expert on the subject or affiliated with a reputable organization? Determine whether or not the information is well supported by research or other evidence. Be sure that the book or article is up to date relative to the field of study. Some subjects will require information that is less than two years old in order to be considered on the cutting edge of research. In other subjects, you may be able to use materials that are much older. Consider the objectivity of the author and the content of the book or article. Ask yourself if the author has any bias or conflict of interest. Does the author fairly present all sides of an argument? Next we will discuss how to evaluate material from the Internet. There is a lot of information on the Internet, some good for your research and some bad. The trick is to determine which resources are appropriate for your research topic. One of the most important things to remember is that anyone can post a website. You can ask yourself evaluation questions as you look at websites to determine if they are appropriate for a research paper. It is important to consider the purpose of the website. Ask yourself, why was the website created? What do the authors hope to achieve? And do they have a hidden agenda? Are the authors trying to sell you a service or product? Are the authors writing for a specific audience? Don't be afraid to be suspicious. Ask yourself who created the website. Can you trust the author? Does the author have any bias or conflict of interest that would make you think you aren't getting all sides of an argument? First, can you determine the website's author? Next, ask yourself if the author is an expert on the topic or just making up information. Then try to figure out if the website's content was posted recently or is updated regularly.